From a theater that you don't want to see a show at to a bed and breakfast you shouldn't be booking with your friends. Here are the top 5 haunted places in Oklahoma that you should never visit. Number 5 in this list is the Thunderbird Youth Academy. The Thunderbird Youth Academy is located in Pryor and is deeply haunted with the ghosts of students who have long passed. Back in 1942, it suffered a horrible tragedy where a lot of the children staying here passed away. Back then it was an orphanage and it was still years before it would become a military school. It got hit hard with a devastating tornado that the building simply wasn't ready for. Tons of the children who lived there perished due to the storm and now their ghosts are set to linger here. Stories where people will wake up in their beds and find literally other children lying in them staring directly at them are far too common. These stories also don't even factor in one of the most famous ghosts there, Hector. Hector is a young boy who haunts the 3rd platoon building. Hector's story is far more graphic than the other children who died. It's not confirmed, but some say that the cook took Hector's life and did it in a fashion that I can't go into detail on YouTube about. Either way, now his spirit forever haunts this building and all of those who reside in it. I personally would never want to go to military school anyways as a kid, but having it be haunted would make it even worse. Number 4 on this list is the Tulsa Theater. It's weird how some places attract ghosts and spirits more than others. Theaters are one of the most prominent spots for paranormal presences and this theater is no exception. News Oklahoma says, Tulsa Theater, formerly known as Brady Theater, used to be a vaudeville house providing entertainment to audiences. This space went through a lot over the years, including being abandoned and almost destroyed. But after renovations and a name change, the Tulsa Theater reopened. Legend is, the space is haunted by an Italian opera singer named Enrico Caruso. Caruso took in the sights around town while in Tulsa to perform. He wanted to see the oil wells and how they made them, said French. And as they came back, it was raining, it was cold, miserable, and the car broke down. Despite already being sick, Caruso made the journey back on foot in the rain to give what turned out to be his last performance ever. He had a great performance, according to history, French said. It was one of his best, standing ovations in the whole nine yards. Unfortunately, after returning to Italy, Caruso died. French said many say Tulsa caused Caruso's demise and that's why it's believed he haunts the theater. Even Caruso's manager named Tulsa as the reason for his death. But it goes deeper than just Caruso. When it was the Brady Theater, the building is rumored to have played a role in the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. I mean, it played a huge role. It housed some of the victims. There are rumors they died inside and some other horrible things that happened to them, French said. We actually captured electronic video phenomena evidence that almost confirms all of the stories there. The Tulsa Race Massacre was a horrible display of hate and racism. On May 31st in 1921, a bunch of white residents who had been given weapons by city officials attacked a bunch of black residents. This incident lasted over 24 hours and saw more than 800 people get injured and at least 36 people die. A horrifying tragedy that never should have occurred. It's no wonder that any place tied to this incident could be haunted. Number 3 on this list is the Hex House. Yeah, that's right guys, this place is literally called the Hex House, so it's no wonder why it's making the list. News Oklahoma says again, so this is something we feature in our serial killer tour. The new Hex House is inspired by the home that used to belong to Carol Ann Smith. French said the original Hex House located at 10 East 21st Street has negative energy attached. I mean the things that she did with her nephew. They were dumping hot water on people that lived in the duplex next to them. There's also that whole history of her keeping those two hostages in the basement and kind of hypnotizing them putting hexes on them. Yes, it's insane, said French. Claims of windshield wipers or stereos going on while the car is off are frequent if parked nearby. French even says they tested the theory during a tour and claimed she never did it again. We turned the bus off, but then it wouldn't start back up. It wasn't until a lady said she called Carol Ann a bad name and then she apologized. As soon as she was done, the bus came immediately back on, French says. The reason this house is on the killer tour list is due to what went down in 1928, guys. John Blymere, after receiving consultation from a woman named Nellie Knoll, thought that he had been cursed by another man named Nelson Raymer. 
John and some of his friends broke into the home, which is the Hex House, and then brutally killed Nelson. After they did this, they tried to set the house on fire, but it actually didn't burn. Since then, it's been a hotspot for ghosts, specifically that of Nelson Raymer. Number two on this list is the Stone Lion in Bed and Breakfast. This is definitely not the Airbnb you want to be booking for you and your pals for that relaxing weekend getaway you've been picturing. Travel Oklahoma says, stay at the Stone Lion in Bed and Breakfast in Guthrie at your own risk as a mischievous ghost child has been seen and felt throughout the home. The spirit, said to be that of 8 year old Irene Hewton, has been known to squeeze the toes of sleeping guests or even crawl into bed with them. The eerie tap 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 of a child's footsteps has also been heard leading from the second floor to the third. According to legend, the 8,000 square foot home was where the child met her fate when a nurse her with cough syrup containing them. The family later moved on, but little Irene refused to leave. After the Houston family moved out, the home changed into a boarding house and then a funeral home. Paranormal investigative teams have encountered several other ghosts, including a strong male entity who lingers in the basement where the morgue once was. Through the years of people staying here, there have been tons of reports of sightings and interactions with ghostly entities. As mentioned, it's pretty normal to be visited by Irene, the ghost of the young girl who passed here. A bit of a rarer encounter is that of a ghostly music box, though. The owner Becky has come out and said, One of my guests just the other day came out of this room and said, All night long I heard this music box. Now it's unclear whether one of the ghosts was playing this music box or if the box just sort of started on its own, but that would definitely be enough to keep me awake if I was that guest. Pictures, videos, and voice recordings have all been captured here by paranormal investigators many times. It was first investigated by a paranormal specialist 18 years ago, and since then it's been a hotspot for all ghost hunters alike to check out. Unless you're well versed in dealings with spirits, I'd pick a different Airbnb for you and your buddies. And number one on this list is Guthrie's Boys Home. This site started out as an orphanage in 1923 when it was built. Now becoming an orphan would truly be a horrible experience that I can't even begin to understand, but I can guarantee you that it would have been far worse if you got sent to this orphanage. That's because of the horrible atrocities committed here. There is no denying that the maid who worked here back then was sick. Mentally sick, deranged to a point where she felt a desire to these young orphans. It's believed that she would often abuse these innocent children in any number of ways. Now this isn't confirmed, but these are rumors. It's also thought that she even took the life of a few people while she was working here and made it look like an accident. This all culminated one day when she finally took her own life by jumping out of the bell tower and falling to her death. This has obviously led to some spiritual presences staying behind. Lucky for all of us, it's not the spirit of this sick old maid who died. However, as sad as it is, it's the spirits of some of these children here who were wronged. There is apparently one girl who appears to visitors and begs for safety. Crying and screaming children can be heard echoing throughout the building at all hours of the day. The sounds of little feet running up and down the halls are regularly reported as well. Believe it or not, this isn't enough to drive people away though because it's a popular wedding spot. Definitely not the area I would choose to get married if it was up to me though. But anyways guys, there you have it. That is our list of the top 5 haunted places in Oklahoma you should never visit. Please comment down below what you thought about this list and some other haunted spots around the area that you may know about. Also please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.